Welcome back to part 2 of the IQ tutorial series. Make sure you've watched the first tutorial which goes over the basics of navigating IQ. In this video, I'm only going to be focusing on the custom lighting effect called Solid. The Solid effect has some pretty basic settings, but it's very useful if you want to create animations just like my Pac-Man animation. That entire animation is done using only Solid effects. To begin, press the plus button below the graph which will add in a new color picker. Below, we have lighting time in seconds, which determines how long it takes for the graph to go from left to right. So just to demonstrate this, let's take this color picker and reduce its size to half. Now you'll see that at the half second mark, the solid effect comes on, then turns off at the one second mark, and it repeats this over and over. If we increase the lighting time to two seconds, it will stay black until the one second mark, and then turn off at the two second mark. To demonstrate this further, let's change the lighting time to 5 seconds and add in some color pickers with different colors. Now starting at 0, blue stays on until the 1.5 second mark, then there is yellow up until the 3.4 second mark, then finally it switches over to red until the 5 second mark, then it continues to repeat this. So how is this important to animation? Well let's clear the solid effect by hitting the X, and let's set the lighting time to 10 seconds. Then, let's create 10 solid effects by duplicating this solid effect 9 times. Now I'm going to rename them all so it makes it easier to see what's going on. Starting with the first solid effect, I'm going to create a new color picker that will only last 1 second. You can see on the graph that it starts from 0 and ends at 1. Then on the second solid effect, I'm going to make it start from 1 and end at 2. And then on the third solid effect, I'm going to make it start from 2 and end at 3. Then you just repeat this for all of the solid effects. When it's finished, you should have 10 solid effects that each occur for one second. You can treat this kind of like frames per second. There is one frame per second in this animation. For solid effect 1, I'm going to select the number 1 on the keyboard. And for solid effect 2, I'm going to select the number 2, and so on, till I have all 10 solid effects mapped from numbers 1 to 0. This now makes it really easy to see exactly what's going on by chaining these 10 solid effects together. It takes 10 seconds for the dot to go from 1 to 0. If you want to have more than one color in the same frame of an animation, you have to duplicate the effect and change its color. So let's say that from 4 to 7, I want to have a red dot appear underneath it. So I'll duplicate frame 4, 5, 6, and 7. Then I'll color them red. Now I'll select the keys 4, 5, 6, and 7. So starting at 4, a red dot will appear, then it will disappear after frame 7. Now that you hopefully understand how this works, you can start creating more complex animations. Let's say we want to make a snake eat an apple, and grow bigger after each apple. So let's start fresh and clear all of our frames. You can clear a selection by selecting anywhere outside of the keys. Then I'll duplicate the remaining frames that don't have a red color. Now let's begin with the first white frame. I'll select the letter A. Now the first red frame, I'll select the letter F. Now I'll select the letter F for the next two red frames. Then on the second white frame, I'll select the letter S. On the third white frame, I'll select the letter D. And finally, on the fourth white frame, I'll select the letter F. Now since at this point, the snake has eaten the apple on letter F, we can go over to the fourth red frame and make our apple be letter J. And I'll also do this for red frame 5 and 6. Now on the fifth white frame, we can make our snake bigger since it ate an apple. I'll select the letters G and F by holding control. Now it's pretty straightforward. On the 6th white frame, we can crawl our snake up to letter G and H. Then on the 7th white frame, we can crawl it up to the next apple, which is J and H. I think it's pretty straightforward from here that I don't need to continue this, and hopefully you'll understand by this point how animating works. With a lot of patience, you can animate something just like my snake animation, which consists of 128 frames. You can get an animation template for this off my website, so that you don't need to create the frames by yourself. I've already done that for you. Link is in the description of this video if you want to get the template and try animating something for yourself. One other thing you can do with solid effects is you can create a lighting switch for when you press a specific key. So let's start fresh with a new profile and a new solid effect. Over on the right there is a drop down box that says start. You can make this start on key pressed, then down here you can make it stop on key pressed. So now I can select caps lock for example. Now whenever I tap on caps lock it will turn white showing me that caps lock is on. And then when I hit it again it will turn off. You can also make it stop after a certain amount of time. So now when I hit caps lock, it will turn off after 3 seconds. 
That is just about everything you need to know for the solid effect in IQ. If you enjoy my tutorials or my RGB profiles, consider supporting me over on Patreon so that I can keep doing this. I'll see you next time for part 3 of the IQ tutorial series.